Hello, hey guys, this is Steve and this is Dirty Evolution number 13. Yeah, this is late. It's been uh, quite a that it's been past two weeks, but I never thought that I will upload this one. But today I read this one and I came to decide that I should upload this review. So, Dear Devil 13, here we go with this one. Hope you guys will enjoy this one. This will be so it's been quite a good thing about this one so good things about this day they will 13 review this is by comicvine.com and this is by korean deadpool scryers so the good things about this one is mark wade is providing that the notion that major comic publishers are not doing anything new with their already established characters is a myth where it has taken their old to places that are familiar to any longtime fan of old hornhead but are still that they're still telling unique interesting stories that have really never been seen the names are all familiar but the events are dynamic and bottomlessly interesting case in point the return of the owl where had previously included him in an arc but left it on a mysterious moment of owl seemingly having come into powers of his own but what they were were not clear but by the end of this issue he is not only shows us what they are but lets us know that they have the potential to take the character to be uh, to a completely unseen level of villainy. A lot of times when an empowered villain gains powers, they are not the most dynamic abilities or they are very one to one with the villain's personality. This power makes sense, but it's definitely not the first thing one would think of with the owl. The main storyline of the book focuses on Matt's anxiety over his identity being public and it placing Kristen McDuffie in danger but as Wade does best this also gets turned on its head in a way that is both brilliant and so utterly satisfying to read. McDuffie is clearly being set up as not just an equal to Matt in terms of her wit and candor but her ability to look after herself and have a life outside of the fact that she's dating Daredevil and Wade is doing a great job making it feel organic and normal. So in a pretty cool way dear devil is as all as usual and always it's been a good story and good to review this one so chris samney sharing his storyteller credit with where as he always does has some phenomenal line work in this issue there isn't a lot of what could be called action but there's there's a ton of tension and a great intensity to the middle and end of this issue samney is also amazing at using native space in a way that feels like it's serving the story rather than a way to cut corners the darkness helps set the mood and the creative use of shadows helps reinforce that murdoch's life is even at its happiest shouted in shadow matthew wilson provides colors and is also tremendous at establishing tone and tenor even when this book is bright it still manages to have an ear of sinister darkness but it never becomes overbearing nor does it prevent the bright spots from having their own sense of whimsy the bad things about this one is there's not much in here that isn't great there are some concerns over where the story particularly as it relates to Kirsten, is it's going best on where Daredevil's romances usually go, but holding a possible future storytelling and the storyline against this issue isn't fair, and the issue itself is incredible. The verdict from this one, what we get is this is an issue that sets a lot up but never feels like it's either filler or getting overly expositional, and that has got to be a difficult job. Wade and Sammy seem more than up for the task though and based on what they have started with this issue it seems that there's going to be a great deal of payoff here so particularly since the owl has been a specter hanging over the title and for him to finally come through his thrilling it was pretty good and it was really high tense and in this moment it is pretty great we have enjoyed this one and it's seemingly that, that, that is the best thing what we have got in here that we can can go places by the places seeing this kind of thing so here is the ending of this dear devil 13 hope you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and those of you who didn't bought it yet does not buy the book yet just go to the store and buy this book enjoy the story it is really great and if you're not a dear devil fan you'll become a dear devil fan too so have a great day and subscribe for more